Below the Neapolitan heat and traffic lies the Bourbon Tunnel. Built as an escape route by King Ferdinand II in 1853 and now Naples' newest tourist attraction, mainly thanks to the vision and determination of one man, Gianluca Minin. Welcome. How are you? Thank Fine, you. Fine, thanks. Thank you very much for coming. So you're going to show me your tunnel? My <laughs> tunnel, yeah. <laughs> It was in the course of his work as a geologist that Gianluca stumbled across what would become his passion. The tunnel was a dump, was full of rubbish, so we needed to use some lights to have a look. So we stole, we stole a little bit, borrowed, of, borrowed a little <laughs> bit of electricity from the car park. They were building the car park, and when the light was on, I felt in love. So Gianluca and his team of volunteers got to work, spending seven years cleaning out the tunnel in their spare time. So when you say it was a dump, how much rubbish are we talking about? Uh, we, are, we are speaking about uh, a mountain of one meter high from eight meters high. And as the debris was cleared, the history of Naples over the last 150 years was revealed. And you found things like yeah. this then? And this is what exactly? It, this is a Plymouth of uh, 1942, uh, USA Army. This is the ruined front door into the city, the biggest prize yet to fall to the Allies in this campaign. We know that many cars was um, uh, are here because after the Second World War, you, you know the black market. So they use this car uh, to move uh, cigarettes all around Naples. And so they, the policemen uh, took the cars and put here. So this is an impressive room then, Gianluca? Yeah, we are in the central part of the tunnel and we are in the biggest room of the tunnel. It is very impressive to imagine that people using this one, not electrical hammer, but this one with candles, they've made something like this.